former President Donald Trump on Friday was slapped with an $83.30 judgment after a jury found him liable for defaming author E. Jean Carroll, the latest in a series of massive awards juries, have doled out in defamation cases involving major public figures. Trump was ordered to pay Carroll $18.3 million in compensatory damages and $65 million in punitive damages over comments he made denying Carroll's sexual abuse allegations. In December, a jury ordered Rudy Giuliani to pay $148 million for defaming election workers. And in 2022, a jury ordered Infowars host Alex Jones to pay a staggering $1.5 billion to Sandy Hook families for claiming the 2012 mass shooting was a hoax. All three have signaled they'll appeal those decisions. We've been seeing over the last couple of years verdicts that are just stratospheric. Chris Matte, a defamation lawyer who represented some Sandy Hook families against Jones, told Business Insider, there's a tendency in light of that recent precedence to expect numbers like this, but it is incredibly significant. These extraordinary judgments are the result of a combination of factors, but social media plays a major role. Legal experts said, while in the past, high-profile figures may have been less willing to make defamatory statements, social media can actually provide an incentive for them to do so. There are these incentives for people who want to gain notoriety, want to gain an audience, want to be the center of attention, to do this kind of stuff, Mattier said. Trump, for instance, has successfully framed himself as a victim who is constantly under attack and fighting for not only himself, but for his supporters. So when he goes on the offensive and lobs attacks at his critics and accusers, he often gets a positive reaction from his supporters. Jones also stood to gain from spreading conspiracy theories about the Sandy Hook shooting, according to Matte. During the defamation trial, Matte told the jury Infowars pulled in millions of followers off of the Sandy Hook lies and even made as much as $800,000 through product sales that followed. Not only is social media lifting up personalities that are willing to engage in defamatory conduct, but it's also making it so that when they do, the consequences for the defamed person are far greater.